This speech was written by our leader, the Global Co-Creation Authority Ferris Nasa. Is it important to be inclusive? The value of inclusion. Inclusion means creating a space where people feel comfortable being who they are. Fellow Toastmasters, distinguished guests, have you ever lived in a society where you are from a minority group? Or did you have some opinions or a lifestyle that is different than the mainstream lifestyle of the society? It is time that we talk about inclusion. Inclusion is the act of creating a welcoming and supportive environment where everyone feels valued and respected, regardless of their differences. It is an essential element of creating a fair and just society where everyone can contribute their unique talents and perspectives. Inclusion is important because it ensures that everyone, regardless of their background or abilities, has equal access to opportunities and resources. It is time that we tell the story of inclusion, one of the sacred values of the co-creation movement. Inclusion is not about politics. It's about making sure that everyone feels valued and respected. Different people see inclusion in different ways. Is it about having a diverse workforce like Google and famous tech companies? Is it about having a female president like Ursula von der Leyen? Is it about having a democracy? The co-creation movement is a pioneer in providing a voice for people, organizing diversity events and providing a participatory voice. Inclusion has several benefits for individuals, organizations and society as a whole. For individuals, inclusion can lead to increased self-esteem and confidence, as well as greater opportunities for personal and professional growth. Inclusion also promotes diversity and creativity by bringing together people with different backgrounds and perspectives. For organizations, inclusion can lead to increased productivity, innovation, and profitability. By fostering an inclusive culture, organizations can attract and retain a diverse workforce, which can lead to better decision-making and improved performance. Finally, inclusion is beneficial for society as a whole because it promotes social cohesion, reduces discrimination and prejudice, and creates a more equitable and just society. Inclusion is not a state of being. It is an ongoing process of learning and unlearning. The story of discrimination forms a big part of humans' identity. It is us versus them. It has happened because you are from this group or that group. If we are going to bring our community together in the same way a bee colony functions, it is important that we embrace inclusion and overcome discrimination. But is inclusion easy? Inclusion is not an easy task, because to include you want to trust and trust is very rare commodity. It is fair to say that the world have become more global with people from different backgrounds living and working together. The value of inclusion started to gain greater importance because you need to make those people who are coming from different backgrounds feel that they belong. Make sure they can fit well in the society and bring their best abilities for the benefit of the society. This is why it is important that we provide some diversity training. It needs time and education to learn about different culture and different lifestyles. Despite the benefits of inclusion, there are several hurdles that you need to overcome to achieve it. One of the biggest hurdles is the lack of awareness and understanding of different cultures, backgrounds and abilities. This can lead to stereotypes, prejudice and discrimination, which can make it difficult for people to feel included. Another hurdle is the lack of accessibility to physical spaces, technology and resources. For example, people with disabilities may face barriers in accessing buildings, transportation and technology which can limit their opportunities for inclusion. In the co-creation movement, we tell the stories of the artist who had a Down syndrome, of the Muslim girls who come up with brilliant ideas. We try to highlight role models or heroes and give a voice for the masses and channel young people capabilities to creative and positive endeavors. Finally, there is a lack of inclusive policies and practices in many organizations and institutions which can perpetuate inequality and discrimination. The first time that I have seen inclusion in my lifetime is at the university level. In the university, there were several people from different nationalities working on their research projects. 
Each would be coming from different backgrounds to contribute to the advancement of science and knowledge. It is important to know that inclusion looks different in different contexts and different countries. Your aim is to achieve harmony and social cohesion. The global tech companies are also a great example of inclusion, where you see the CEOs of the major tech companies are coming from Asian backgrounds. Satya Nadella running Microsoft and Sundar Pichai is running Google, a scene that was not even possible 20 or 30 years ago. Another example of inclusion is to have women serving as ministers or as board members in countries where women are not representative in leadership positions, or for example having Rishi Sunak becoming the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom and Hamza Yousaf becoming the First Minister of Scotland. But the truth is that inclusion is a controversial topic and is highly dependent on trust. Sometimes people do not see people from different ethnicities or backgrounds as equal, or they should not get the same rights. This prevents some communities from having their voices heard and promote a form of segregation within the community. Sometimes democracy does not work for the interest of the minorities. In some countries and communities, not everyone is heard and not everyone is valued. Inclusion is not just about creating a diverse and welcoming environment. It also involves creating opportunities for everyone to participate fully and meaningfully. This is why it is fundamental to find novel ways of inclusion, to be using digital tools in the same way that we are doing in our co-creation workshops, or even finding more innovative ways to include people. Inclusion also means providing equal access to resources, services, and opportunities, as well as promoting equitable outcomes. Inclusion also involves empowering individuals and communities to advocate for their rights and to participate in decision-making processes. Finally, inclusion requires ongoing efforts to address discrimination and inequality, to raise awareness and understanding of different perspectives and experiences, and to promote a culture of respect and inclusivity. To our leader, Ferris Naser, I'm Felix from Switzerland. I live in Zurich. We admire your ways. We see novelty in you. We see you as a bridge between nations in the same way Switzerland is. We see enlightenment in you. I support your leadership. We are with you.